Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Donnie's Bar Mitzvah. And this is a new comedy, very small budget comedy, which starts off with people, very stereotypical Jewish sounding people, walking through what might be a video store or a library, and they find this video of Donnie's party, and they put it into their VHS, keep trying to push it in because it keeps popping out, and then whoosh, we're whisked off to this video of a young man Donnie's bar mitzvah. And you're thinking, this is interesting, and boy, does it get interesting. This comedy, which is from director Jonathan Kaufman, a.k.a. Johnny Comebacks, this film is absurd. And honestly, this might be the VHY of last year, which that was such a weird, quirky little thing that when it all came together might not have been the most amazingly put together film, but it was interesting and funny and I enjoyed every moment watching it. This film is so next level and you have all these very 90s feeling kinds of things. You're watching this video, the music, the hairstyles, just like the quality of the videotape, it all feels very much like we're getting transported into this time period. And it really works. And it's really amusing, and especially for somebody who grew up in the 90s, feels very relatable. I remember making like home videos and stuff on VHS recorders like this, and it's very grainy, and you have all like the characters in this film are crazy. You have just about everything you can think of. You have this main family with Donnie and it's his birthday. He really likes this girl and like they all have their first dance which is really awkward of her like trying to grind on him and it looks super awkward and it's just like many of us have probably been there before and then you have these moments where you have his brother who's like I don't know, like a young Tom Cruise type who's like super into doing all these things and this is where things get like crazy thinking about this, like he winds up having an affair with one of the moms at this party and all of a sudden she's magically pregnant and her husband's this cuckold named Gary. Poor Gary. And Gary's just this strange little man that keeps trying but just keeps being rejected by his wife and all this craziness and you're just sitting there feeling bad for him. And then you have the rest of this situation. You have the parents, the dad, is it he, he might be closeted. And the, um, the sister who is this like really gothy, like black lipstick, tough girl who's dating this guy who turns out to be gay but has really feelings for the brother and does some weird stuff with the dad and it just keeps spiraling and spiraling and spiraling. You have this uh, this mom at the party who's into the dad and she's like constantly flirting with him. They go smoke outside with each other. The mom's super uptight, buys these hats and they get melted and morphed into what looks like dildos on the front of these caps for all these kids. You have like the kids playing spin the bottle or truth or dare and having all those weird, like, awkward kid preteen moments. And you have all these different kinds of things. You have this, like, random Asian couple that's there, and the, um, the guy's really uptight, and the mom and the wife is getting a little loose as we're going throughout this party. You have this one crazy guy who's just all about just craziness. They do, uh... They, uh do like a drinking game or never have I ever and he literally has done everything. This this film is so all over the place and crazy that it's hard to keep track of everything and some things are just way too out there and you're just like what the hell am I watching? But I laughed a lot watching this film and there's definitely some fun things like towards the end they like spoof pop-up videos which was absolutely hilarious and they have all these raunchy crazy weird things popping up on screen and Johnny Compact's film here is definitely something that if you have a raunchy sense of humor you're probably going to enjoy this more but 
as you're sitting there watching this film, you're just like, this is the craziness that movies can be. It has all kinds of weird things. Like, there's, like, spies and undercover people. One of them is actually, like, a really famous actor undercover, and it's an actual actor is in this, like, pops out, and the scene is just like, what's going on here? You have a Where's Waldo reference, and all of these crazy things so absurd, yet these characters are so crazy that you can't help but enjoy every moment that they're on screen, even if some of the humor doesn't hit, even if the story is just a craziness from start to finish over the course of like an hour and 18 minutes. This is one weird movie, but it's just weird enough and crazy enough to deliver the laughs. And Donnie's Bar Mitzvah is definitely something worth, worth experiencing. But those are my thoughts on Donnie's Bar Mitzvah. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.